Today, I will be talking about the turkey trot. I am Walter Nelson, and this is the Dance History Picture Show. Um, the turkey trot has been a bit elusive for me until fairly recently. I've read written descriptions of it, which, which should be noted often, disagreed about fundamental things. Uh, was it a one-step or was it a two-step? Uh, further, the term was broadly applied as a blanket description of any dance of which a defender of public morality disapproved. And there were no shortage of people who were absolutely certain that ragtime music and ragging dances were destroying the fabric of society, one dance at a time. Um, my usual source for social dance history is, of course, old movies. Uh, but that's a challenge at the very turn of the 20th century. Um, movies uh, that depict social dancing are generally of a narrative format. And that was something that was new and didn't really take hold until the later part of the first decade of the 20th century. Before that, films were Nickelodeon novelties about uh, trains coming into stations or uh, putting a, a movie camera on a streetcar or showing a vaudeville act or something like that. Uh, fortunately for me, though, the uh, film narrative format kicks in about 1908, 1909, about the same time as the turkey trot supplants the two-step as the um, premier um, dance to dance to the modern ragtime music. Um, of course, this means that I still lack decent uh, visual representations of the two-step as it was danced at the turn of the 20th century, but that's that's neither here nor there. Um, however, with persistence, I have succeeded in finding um, some pretty good sources for the turkey trot, including one which has a character with the title card saying, do you dance the turkey trot? I love it when they do that because there's often disagreement among us moderns about what something should be called. And you can't argue with the people of the time when they put a label on something. Um, so to begin, let's roll some film. Okay, so what is the turkey trot? Um, as I said, the descriptions vary, sometimes one step, sometimes two step. Um, I've, uh, I've been looking at these films and I have seen some consistencies, but it isn't always about the steps. Uh, though there, you know, there are some recurring steps, a sort of a two step, which is a hop to the left, kick to the left, hop to the right, kick to the right sort of thing. Um, <clears throat> but those aren't required. The, the consistencies seem to be in the, um, in the holes, which you will see are a little odd, and a general hoppiness. Um, and uh, it's interesting, I, I once uh, looked at, a, at an old film, uh, old video of a vintage dance event from about 20 years ago, danced by people I knew, who were doing the turkey trot and they got the step right, but they got the feeling wrong because they didn't have the, um, the visual evidence to see what the affect of the turkey trot is. And the turkey trot is not about specific elements of uh, dance mechanics. It's about the affect. Um, the first one we will show is uh, um, in Coney Island from 1912. And uh, I start out because it's a fairly sedate turkey trot. It's a fairly civilized turkey trot. Um, then we will move on to a variety of other turkey trots, which are perhaps less so.
And now a, uh, a slower version, and I know this was, this is actually a turkey trot, this music, because it's called the turkey trot. Um, and it, uh, it matched this uh, slower, temper, slower tempo version. Um, but uh, you'll notice the affect is pretty much the same. The steps are pretty much the same, uh, but it, uh, it's a slower tempo turkey trot.
And this next one is from uh, a Charlie Chaplin film, uh, Tango Tangles, which is uh, entirely free of tangos. Uh, it's a very odd scene. Clearly, part of it was filmed in an actual dance hall. Uh, and then another part was filmed in intercut from, and in the studio. Um, and uh, anyway, it's uh, an interesting combination of moves and postures. And I'll let it speak for itself. Oh, that's uh, from 1914. Um, that's an interesting combination of holds. Some are more or less the same, uh, the same turkey trot hold we've been seeing. Um, others are kind of, kind of full bunny hug, but uh, I think it all helps to, uh, to highlight the, the chaos of a ragtime era dance floor. So this last one here is a kind of interesting uh, collection. They both come from the Prelinger archive, which uh, had a lot of stuff from San Francisco. And they are both images from public dance halls, one from 1915 and one from 1917. The 1915 one is not very well lit, but you can really get a sense of what's going on. And then look how it is, has changed subtly by 1917 when the one step and the foxtrot have pushed the uh, the turkey trot to the um, off the main stage.
that last one is a very interesting contrast uh, in the city that supposedly created the uh, turkey trot in San Francisco. There is a, a visible difference in the fashion of dancing over just two years. Um, so by 1917, dancing is far less turkey trotty and much more um, the next thing. Uh, anyway, I guess that's it for uh, the turkey trot and I hope it has been somehow useful and I will talk to you next time.